Hello guys, welcome to Tableau practice session. Today we'll be seeing how we can create a dashboard using different sheets created in Tableau desktop. For this particular video, I've already created few sheets which can be used. As you can see, we have different sheets related to the sales and profit of the customers. We'll be creating a dashboard using the sheets and then we'll be creating a story using our dashboard and few of the sheets. Well, a story is nothing but a more interactive way of represent, uh, presenting data to the customers or the end users. Now let's get started with the creating a uh, creation of a dashboard. To create a dashboard, we can either go to the tools menu, the dashboard option and click on the new dashboard or we can go to the main menu and click on the plus sign. Uh, on the status bar there are three plus symbols one for new worksheet one for new dashboard and the last one for the new story now by clicking on the plus symbol for the dashboard a new dashboard is created let's name this dashboard as sales dashboard as you can see there is a dashboard pane which gives us an option of the size sheets and objects for our purpose we'll select the size as laptop browser because we are working on the laptop we'll be selecting few sheets uh, which are relevant for our analysis purpose we'll select global sales and profit and add sales by subcategory and customer breakdown just below the sales and global uh, sales and profit sheet so as you can see so we have three sheets and the overall sales looks good uh, now if we apply the filter let's see what happens so this filter is applied to the first sheet so when I click on this filter it is just getting affected on the first sheet so how can we apply this filter to all the sheets that's simple just go to the drop down menu of the filter select apply to worksheets all using this data source so now when you select this filter all the sheets which are associated to this data source gets affected now let's concentrate on one of the states which is performing very badly or which is a, which has the less profit so let's select Texas now if you can see when I selected Texas it didn't affect any other sheet we are not able to see the sales by subcategory for Texas or customer breakdown for Texas so how can we see it for applying this filter to all the sheets we have to just click use the selected area as a filter when you click this this gets applied to all the sheets which are on the dashboard now we have we have the data for Texas and now just remove this yeah so the overall sales and profit looks good now let's give the dashboard a title sales dashboard and move on to creating a story click on the new story option a new story board is displayed which has the different sheets um, the navigator and the story size we'll select the size of the story as automatic and we have to make the similar changes in the dashboard as well because we are using this dashboard uh, in that story so once this is done let's move back to the story board and name the story as sales story after renaming the story board we can just drag drop the sheets or the dashboard to the story board so now this is an overall view of the sales and the profit margin looks good for all the sales so 
overall the seals look good so what we are just saying is so we are giving the first storyboard a title called as the seals look good so this will tell the end users that overall the seals are good now what's the problem so now add our sales dashboard as a next starting point which concentrates on the pain areas for example here Texas how we analyzed it so yes and once you select this you just have to update this we add in caption and then we'll update it but there are few issue areas so we are seeing as although overall profit is good but there are few issue areas which we need to concentrate and we update it so this is our storyboard which is now complete in a similar way we can just add another uh, dashboard or a sheet which will just continue the analysis so but we don't want to add another storyboard and we want to publish this to the end users so you can just go to the server publish workbook option and you can publish your work and this will get displayed as it is and the filters and the different legend options are completely interactive you can just go and change the filter and you can see it dynamically so this is the best way of presenting the data to the end users uh, or your colleagues or to analyze the overall performance of a company so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.